Let's go ahead and just hack that so we don't have any extra problems. There we go. Okay. Doing pretty good, actually. I mean, I don't mean to pat myself on the back too soon, but... Okay, so here's the other thing, too, is that we figured out we can get something out of this room back here. Or something about depressurization or something. Like, maybe there's an easier way to do this. grenades, so I'm pretty sure I should probably, I don't know, I guess go in with Havoc and assume the worst? Visitor, then. <laughs> oh dear. Well, at least it lets me know when Havoc is over. Because it explodes. Alright. So I think I'm... I, I think I am actually clearing them all out. Doesn't feel like I am, but... I am actually clearing them all out. God, I wish I could upgrade this thing. It hacks so slowly. Okay, so let's go ahead. Wedgies, notes from today's breach experiment. One, due to cold betrayal, I had to link the security system to the depressurization controls. Sterilization will trigger only if the traitor is detected on the premises. Two, as per Evan's law of variation, the relevant security codes may be in a different location than in your timeline. Mine are in the bottom section of the lab annex. Aha! That's the details we were missing. Bottom section of the lab annex. So, bottom section of the lab annex. Control panels over there. Well, we need the codes. That's the problem. Just gotta figure out where the lab annex is. Ooh. Okay. Is that what this is? Is that what this is? Our own best rat. Okay. Now, we've already read that. Hmm. So where might we get those codes? An observation from this morning's early announcements. The notable leap in the skill and proficiency of Eternalists Colt and Juliana. Yes! And two truths have become apparent. One, the time loop has been active for some time, and both of them retain their memories from each loop iteration, while others, most notably ourselves, do not. Oh, for fuck's sake, stop interrupting me. If this is correct, we can reasonably assume that every day, for X amount of time, we have made similar observations. We then focused our efforts on preserving knowledge and memory across iterations. Which means, despite us being able to propagate this timeline, we have clearly repeated these early stages of research multiple times, without a breakthrough. An obvious conclusion, one we have likely made before to no effect. And so, these dubious experiments with residuum infusion to retain items, trinkets, across iterations. If we can retain trinkets, perhaps we can retain ourselves. Right. Okay. Alright, so... Somewhere there's a code that will lead to the depressurization here. Let's see, I can access Wenji's depressurization codes at a code-protected device inside her security lab for Control Freak. So where is that? 
Oh, okay, so if we can get the code for this thing, then we get the codes for the depressurization. Is that right? Automatic manual, because then we can just pop in here and depressurize everything in theory. I just don't know where I'm going to get that code. I feel like it's staring me right in the face. Hmm. Huh. Okay. Well. We have a couple more Wengies to kill, I suppose. Maybe it will, uh, reveal itself to us. Control their eyes and their ears. What is this? Laboratory? What is this? The manufacturing. Oh, right. This is where I started. So we need to do some hacking in here in order to fix the problem. Okay. There we go. A plague of Wengies. Well, this might be one of those situations where coming in here earlier in the day might be our, our ticket, you know? And actually, if we're going to come here in order to turn on the generator so that we can open up a certain door in each area, then we might be able to find it then. At least that's my hope. So maybe our next best step is to just finish off the Wengies and complete our loop here so that we can go to the party. I think that's actually going to be my. We could keep this loop going for a Okay. Well, that's one way to do it. Oh! God! That was amazing. We managed to do that so quickly. Hey! I did not see that here on the last go-through. So we need to figure out how to get in there. Attention all Wengies. Current lockdown code, there we go, 5661. To avoid loss of productivity, activate system only in case of catastrophic biological containment failure within the central facility. Randomize each loop in accordance with Evans' law variation and basic security. Oh, so we have to come here every single time in order to get the code. Interesting. Too bad it changes every loop. Good to know, though. Um, okay, so what is that? Happy, sad, dead. What does that even mean? Um, okay. Because, yeah, we did not come down here last time. Okay, so that's something completely different. So why... I'm assuming, because it would give us the code if we'd found that code. So, is that... Let's say that must be for the other one. So do we need to depressurize everything in order to get access to this door? Hang on. Let's try it. 5661. Let's just give this a shot. See if that's how it is. 5661. Nope. Okay. Alright. Let's try that other device. Definitely uh, a fan of changing things up, so I'm sure she's got multiple codes for these things. I don't see anything out of here. Key to containment. It's interesting, it's like, what is she trying so badly to con contain, you know? Is it herself? Like, that's a weird thing to want to contain. So aren't you, in theory, all going to be helping yourself? This is Dr. Wendy Evans. As the head scientist of the Eon program, I was tasked with creating a highly interdependent thermodynamic system that would allow us to harness the vast energy produced by Black Loops Anomaly. With some ingenious reverse engineering, I was able to repurpose the stabilizer antenna to harness power from the anomaly and drive it into the core. By placing myself and the other visionaries at the center of the stabilizer core, I was able to imbue the anomaly's energy into us. Now we are the ballast. 
The visionaries are the loop. And I can still perform field tests on the breach phenomenon without endangering the program. Barring any failure of our protocol, which would be, well, catastrophic, we should experience the loop state every day for approximately... 13,562 years. Shit. <laughs> Stay bad, I'm gonna end the program after 50. <clears throat> this will be my last recorded tape before the loop initiates. In less than an hour. The first day. The time is 23.42 in the evening. The date is... It is... Whatever. It's 1963. Interesting. So this was actually initiated in the 60s. Kind of uh, explains a little bit of the uh, artistic choice and the computers and all that sort of stuff. I love stuff like that. It's kind of like, um, it's kind of got that feel of like in the movie, ooh, Death Trap. In the movie Alien, how everything feels like it's from like computers from the 80s. Um, okay, so this is theoretically the keypad, yes. Five, six, six, one. So what do we do here? Pull. Okay, manual. So, manual what? Goes from automatic to manual, do I push a button? I already inputted the code. That's interesting. Okay, so what's the difference between automatic and manual? Let's listen no to this again. Breach experiment. One, data called betrayal. I had to link the security system to the depressurization controls. Sterilization will trigger only if the traitor is detected on the premises. That would be me. Two, as per Evans' law of variation, the relevant security codes may be in a different location than in your timeline. Mine are in the bottom section of the lab annex. Okay, so if I walk into here, is it going to depressurize me? No, I guess not. Okay. So, all right, let's okay. figure this shit out. Oh, containment controls. That's that. Control panel. Hang on, what am I figuring out? Okay, hang on. Let's see here. Um, key to access the depressurization col controls is in the lab annex, which is where? Control panel, containment controls. What am I looking at? Okay, that's containment controls. There's the lab annex. So I wonder, is that where I was just trying to get in? Can I get in there now? Oh, no, maybe? Nope. Come on. So is this the lab annex? I need to get in here. Right? This is, yeah, this is the lab annex. Hmm. That's frustrating. What did I what did I even switch there? And what is depressurizing? Okay. Hmm. And I can shut I know which of Igor's listening devices made his experiment a success and I could shut it down. That's great, but I actually can't. Um I need a code to shut it down. Let's see. The code I found at Wenji's facility looks connected to her depressurization controls. Too bad it changes every loop. The key code to access the depressure to access the depressurization controls is in the lab annex. I can access Wenji's de Wenji's depressurization controls at a code protected device inside her security lab for a control freak. Okay, so I just need to figure out how to get that code. Is that that? Control panel? Seems like it.
I wonder if I can blow this out. Yes, I can. It's much easier than hacking it. Oh, something's angry at me, though. If you mess with it, you uh, apparently trigger the... What is that? Nobody hears them scream. Well, can I blow this now with a powerful... No? God, these turrets are, like, indestructible. It's ridiculous. Hmm. Okay. Okay, I don't see anybody else. Oh, that's because we were already here. Wait, so that's just that control panel. Hmm. I guess I don't know then. Containment controls. I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to do there then. Because I've got the code. For that, I moved from automatic to manual. I have no idea why, what that has to do with anything, but... Hmm. Let's give it a shot. Run into here one more time. Residuum experiment turn on. I guess I can't. Need to put some residuum in there, I suppose. Hmm. Alright. Death trap. Control their eyes and ears. Okay. Not really understanding how I'm meant to turn this thing on or get the code for those doors. Unless she's written it down somewhere and I'm just missing it. Which is very likely. Alright, well, oh, at least we'll get this residuum. Don't get greedy, Colt. I am nothing if not greedy. Hmm. So let's look down here one more time. Key to containment. What exactly are we even containing here? Her? Is this just an easier way to kill her? So there's one, two, three. I mean, that's not going to help me at all. There's four numbers on this thing. Okay, so you activate it, you pull that. And then what happens? You get zapped and die? That's just her... Hmm, I'm not quite understanding that. Alright, so I think we're just going to go ahead and... Assume that we're missing this at some other stage of the process and find our way back Ooh, to our tunnels. It's a bit annoying when... Because this is something that happens with games like this, is that you won't always find all the answers to everything just because... Maybe you just don't know exactly where to look, or you might be not understanding the correct sequence of things. But it could be a really annoying for a completionist like myself who wants to find all this stuff. I mean, I'm still finding stuff in, like, the Dishonored games, for example. Stuff that I've never seen before. <laughs>
And I've played through those like three, four times at least. Each. Alright. So we got Juliana. Ah, yes, that's right. This was all not for a complete loss. We want to... Let's see. Reveal the control panel. The control panel is visible. We know about that. Unveil the control panel. I already know about that. Yeah, but I need to shut down device C C220. Okay. So we got some cool stuff to to use on our next section of this loop. Let's go and take a look at our loadout here. I definitely want to What are our slab upgrades? Attraction Nexus projectiles home in on enemies until they become unstable. What does that mean? They home in on enemies until they become unstable. I mean, I suppose it makes it easier to to actually use that, which is nice. What's Bulwark? Hits don't drain power, but Havoc drains power faster. Also, you move slower. Ooh. Uh, might be nice, but honestly, I don't think that's one we're gonna... I'd rather actually sacrifice it and use the Residuum for other things. Like, get it attraction. Let's see here. Um, let's go ahead and just sacrifice this one. Slab upgrades. And actually, I think Nexus is going to be something we're going to really need to use in the next... Um, in the next loop here. So we're probably going to want that one to be extra focused. And... Probably gonna. I'm thinking honestly, bring in the uh, the sniper rifle. It's loud. That's what I'm thinking. Sniper rifle and pepper mill, but then maybe leave the four pounder behind and try to find a nail gun along the way. I think that might be our our play as we look at getting to Updom and Alexis's party, Mr. Dorsey's party. Alright ladies and gentlemen, if you want to see this next leg of the journey, please subscribe to the channel, hit that bell icon so you can be notified of new videos, like this video so it shows up in the new algorithms, and as always folks, I will see you in the next game.